Jorn Vandersloot, the prime suspect in the 2005 disappearance of Alabama teenager Natalie Holloway, seen for the first time in years in this exclusive CNN video. Unshaven, disheveled, and much older looking, Vandersloot appears to cooperate while getting his blood pressure taken during a medical screening over the weekend at a prison in southern Peru. Vandersloot was then put back in handcuffs before being driven some 20 hours to another facility outside Lima, where Peruvian officials say they are preparing to send him to the United States on Thursday. It has already been agreed that the U.S. authority will come on the 8th to take him. Vandersloot, now 35, is serving a 28-year sentence in Peru for the 2010 murder of Stephanie Flores Ramirez. He's being transferred to Alabama temporarily in order to face charges related to an alleged plot to extort Holloway's family after her disappearance while on a 2005 graduation trip in Aruba. 18-year-old Nally Holloway was last seen driving in a car with a group of young men, including Vandersloot, then just 17 years old. I think we have just hung on to this possibility since July the 4th. I've just not given up hope that the boys or the men wouldn't be rearrested. An Alabama federal grand jury indicted the Dutch national in 2010 for allegedly attempting to extort a quarter of a million dollars from the Holloway family in exchange for revealing the location of the teen's body. Declared legally dead by an Alabama judge in 2012, Natalie Holloway's body has never been found, and Vandersloot has maintained his innocence, and no one has ever been charged in her death. Vandersloot did not fight his transfer, according to his attorney, who received a letter from his client last week where he wrote, I want to go to the U.S. Vandersloot was recently involved in a fight inside his prison ward. During visiting hours, his lawyer says he suffered a cut to his fingers and some bruising before being placed in the prison's medical section. Todo está listo para la entrega. Everything is ready for him to be handed over. We have him safe, which is what the U.S. authority requested, that he would be in good health. That is how we will keep him until the 8th. We guarantee that.